Welcome to another Safish OS podcast and this is another one of those improvement podcasts I would say because this time around we want to improve the Xperia X WebKit performance and I will show you that I worked on a nice patch that allows you to use Qt WebKit applications on the Xperia X with Safish OS very very smoothly just like you would expect on such a device. So if you did not know about it, on one of my last videos I talked about the early accessories to 1.4 not fixing the Xperia Qt WebKit stuttering bug. Let me show you what I mean basically by demonstrating it to you directly. Uh, let me clip my, my camera in on my tripod so it will not fall off. Let me go into manual focus mode and then let me go to Aperture F8 and start this here and it should get focus now. Hopefully, hopefully. I hope it's in focus now, the desktop here. Let me, perhaps I cannot, uh, ah, I can make the shutter speed a little bit slower so you can um, now see, I think the, uh, the phone in all its glory. Now let's open up WebCat, which is my own WebKit based web browser. And this is basically what you will get, as you can see, is stuttering when transitioning between pages, as you can see here. And if you open up even simple web pages with only text and start scrolling fast, you can see it's stuttering on the scroll bar. Uh, it's not very fast and accurate in reaction of my scrolling, so it's barely usable. I would even call it unusable and yeah it's my browser I want to make I want to use it so I developed a nice patch based on Qt WebKit 5.212 which I also packaged last or start pa packaging last year some improvements um, I will post the instructions of course how to install this and if you want to try it for yourself let's put my super secret password in here and hit enter. Yes, I want to install those RPMs. And as you can see, in a bug in the in the in this orientation of, of the terminal, but it installed the packages. And now let's start WebCat again. And what we'll basically see now is a fluid experience, as you can see on the text page, for example. Smooth, no stuttering. Maybe not 100% smooth, but it's no comparison in uh, to what it was before. Let's go to the web page with images and scroll. As you can see here, fast scrolling works, very smooth scrolling. It stops scrolling, can go into articles. Hopefully, did I click? Did I miss the link click? There we go. Waterleaf smooth, as you can see here, works very, very good. Here and there, maybe when it starts loading big images, it might, as you can see here, might start a bit, but it's no comparison to what it was like before, especially with, with page transitions and so on. So yeah, this is basically everything that I want to show you. And instructions I will post in the togetheryala.com thread. There will be maybe a version installable via the open repos. I still am struggling with the patches. It's not a very nice patch, so I still try to improve the patch before releasing this. Um, one thing that you have to know is that I don't recommend, recommend this installing for novice users. This is really was for really something for the advanced users. So you have to know how to get back to the original packages. Uh, otherwise, you might run into issues 
when you want to upgrade later on from uh, 214.14 to 214.15 or something like this, it might not work if you have my packages installed. So be aware of this. Uh, just a disclaimer I wanted to put in this video so not everyone is running crazy around in circles and installing it like crazy. But as you can see here, yeah, it's working. It's working. And it's nice. And smooth. Yeah, thanks for watching. Until the next time.